Hello friends, this video on quadratic equations part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 and part 2. Some more example where we have to represent mathematically real life scenarios. The product of two positive integers and consecutive. So if first integer is x, the second will be x plus 1. Right? They are two consecutive integers. And the question says the product of these two consecutive integers is 3 not 6. See what we have done? If the first integer is x, the next will be x plus 1. Because we are talking about consecutive. If 3 is the number, the consecutive to 3 is 4. So it's 1 x plus 1. Correct? x into x plus 1 is equal to 3 not 6. That is what given to us. That is nothing but x square plus x is equal to 3 not 6 or x square plus x minus 3 not 6 is equal to 0. This is the product of two consecutive positive integers. And this is the equation where x is nothing but the first positive integer. So to represent this scenario mathematically, we will write x square plus x minus 3 not 6 is equal to 0 where x is the first positive integer. And we can solve this. To solve this, we will learn very soon. This is one more scenario. Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. The product of their ages, ages 3 years from now will be 360. We have to find Rohan's present age. So this guy is Rohan. Let's suppose this present age is x. And the question says Rohan's mother is 36 year, 26 years older to him. So mother will be 26 plus age. Right? And this is nothing but current age. Now the question says the product of the age is 3 years from now. That is, we will write 3 years from now age. This guy will be x plus 3 because if the current age is x, after 3 years it will become x plus 3. And mom will become 26 plus x plus 3. The current age is 26 plus 3, that is 29 plus 3. So we have current age of Rohan, that is x, and mom 2x to 26 plus x. And the age of Rohan after 3 years, that is x plus 3. And the age of mother after 3 years, that is 29 plus x. Now the question says, the product of their age after 3 years will be 360. That is if you multiply this number, x plus 3, 29 plus x, you will get 360, that is x plus 3 into 29 plus x is equal to 360. Correct? So we will solve this. This become 29x plus x square plus 29 into 3, 9, 3, 27, 2, 6, 2, 3, 87 plus 3x is equal to 360. Or we can say x square plus 32x minus 273 is equal to 0. And this is a quadratic equation because this is the form ax square plus dx plus c where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 32 and c is equal to minus 3, 270. 273 actually. 273. And we can solve this. We can solve this. How to solve this we will explain. But this is what we have done. We have converted or we have represented this real life scenario into mathematical quadratic equation. We will take one more example. The train travels a distance of 480 km at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 8 km or less, then it would have taken 3 hours more. Find the, I mean nothing, we have just represent this graphically. So let's assume there are two cases, right? Case 1 and we have case 2. And let's suppose this is distance, this is time, and this is speed. So in case 1, it says the distance is 480 km at a uniform speed. Speed is let's suppose x km per hour. And time let's suppose it takes t. Right? 480 km distance is the distance, speed is x km per hour and t is Tr's. Second case, 
if the speed has been 8 km hour less, that is speed has been x minus 8, instead of x, it is x minus 8, it will take 3, three hours more, then the time will become t plus 3 and the distance is same, distance is same, same distance, distance is same. So we have two scenarios, in first scenario distance is 480, time is t, speed is x, second scenario distance is 480, time is t plus 3 and speed is x minus 8, correct? We know the formula, time is equal to distance by speed, so in case 1, t is equal to 480 by x, in case 2, time is equal to t plus 3, t plus 3 is equal to 480 by x minus 8, right? This is my equation 1 and this is my equation 2. Just we have represented this in the term and we have used the formula time is equal to distance by speed. So in first case time is equal to t, distance is equal to 480, speed is equal to x. In second case time is equal to t plus 3, distance is equal to 480, speed is equal to x minus 8 and that's what we have written here. If you subtract these two equations, t will get cancelled. So we will get 3 is equal to 480 by x minus 8 minus 480 by x, correct? And this is nothing but if you take 480 common, 1 by x minus 8 by 1 minus x, correct? Let's solve this actually. So this becomes x minus 8 this become x, x minus x minus 8, correct? This becomes 3 by 480. We can solve 1 by 160 and x, x cancel. This becomes 8. So you can write x minus 8 into x is equal to 8 into 160. Now let's solve this further. I'll get x square minus 8x minus 1, 2, 8, 0 is equal to this. And if you see this is also a quadratic equation. Sorry, the whole thing is a quadratic equation. And we can solve this. How will we solve this? We will explain it. But now we have derived this quadratic equation. We have converted this real life scenario into quadratic equation. So this is also one real life application of quadratic equation where you know some part of the distance time and you want to know the actual value of speed then we can use the quadratic equation. Here x is nothing but the speed of the train, initial speed of the train. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.